Hello viewers, in this video, I shall try to give you an information about a poem written by Su Ting. Okay, and from the thumbnail of the video, you must have uh, seen the title of the video or title of the poem. So first, let's try to know about the poet. Su Ting, uh, pronunciation may be right. I don't know how to pronounce it well, so I'm sorry for that. But you can always Im improve, keep on doing that. Su Ting, Su Ting, she was born in 1952 in Jingjiang or Fujian in China. So she, uh, actually Su Ting is the pen name of Gong Piao, okay? Gong Piao is her original name. And she is a modern Chinese poet associated with misty poets. And she had bega begun writing poetry in the 1970s. And later uh, she had also published various literary works. Now we have to first know about the background of the poet then only the poem will be utterly uh, utterly comprehensible for us because as Su Ting belongs to China and uh, as she has lived uh, most of her life in China she has faced many transformation of Chinese government Chinese culture and Chinese society and through her work she has tried to depict those transformation through her uh, imagination through her realistic portrayal or autobiographical elements. And this is uh, one of the examples of them, that. Okay? So from the title of the poem, you must have got, got to know it will be related to Chinese society, assembly line. Now let's try to know more uh, about the poet Su Ting. Su Ting had lived through the reign of Maoist administration and communist rule in China. And she was one of the most prominent intellectuals during the Cultural Revolution between 1966 to 1976. So here, I would like to reiterate one here that if you, one thing that if you don't know what is Cultural Revolution of China, uh, you have to know. And please go through it from the Google or from the YouTube or there are many books available. So according to your choice, but you have to know. Then only this poem will be utterly uh, understandable for you. And during this period, Mao Zedong, you must have heard uh, his name, Mao Zedong, he is the chairman of the Communist Party of China. So he wanted China to be rid of the, of the remaining capitalist ideologies and rebellions. So the Cultural Revolution, it came into being, uh, where writers and artists were to produce work that strengthened Maoist ideologies and spread them to the common people. Okay. And the high focus on social realism was a vital feature of this movement. Besides artists and intellectuals who strayed from this view or from this perspective, uh, they uh, and if they wanted to produce radical revolutionary works, uh, then they were subdued by the Communist Party of China. Okay. And uh, this poem, Su, Su Ting's uh, assembly line, it is about the depth of a creativity and individual identity. And through this poem, the poet has also explored uh, through the extended metaphor of an assembly line production in a factory. Uh, Su, Su Ting has also talked ab uh, about the mechanical, monotonous human life in which everyone is the same as everyone else with zero individuality. Uh, on the other hand, she has also correlated this with the image of nature as an extension of this dull existence, as a mirror of the deplorable, inanimate human state. Clear? Okay. Now here I would like to add one thing, and that is, I have already discussed that uh, when Mao Zedong had started Cultural Revolution in China during the uh, year 1966 to 1976, at, at that time, many artists, writers, literators, they were forced to work on behalf of Communist Party and on behalf of their ideology. Okay, so they had no freedom and they had no uh, their own personal or individual right. That's why many writers, including artists, they were frustrated by this new ph phenomenon of the time in China. And the writer or the poet whom we are now studying, she is one of uh, that, uh, one of that group who had been suffered due to uh, cultural revolution of China. Okay, and through this poem, oh, sorry, through this poem, the poet has tried to depict those pain, those deplorable time of China. Okay, and some themes that Su Ting had depicted in this poem. Uh, these are also the monotony of human existence in 1970s China at the height of Mao Zedong-led cultural revolution, and the blurring of individual identities into a collective, highly po po political one, and nature as an extension of the human condition, and the death of creativity and imaginative thoughts. So let's try to first read the poem. Assembly line. It was first published uh, during January, February 1980 by Su Ting. Uh, 
let's read in times assembly line night presses against night we come off the factory night shift in line as we march towards home over our heads in a row the assembly line of stars stretches across the sky beside us little, little trees stand numb in assembly lines the stars must be exhausted after thousands of years of journeys which never change the little trees are all sick chalk and smog and monotony strip of their color and shape it's not hard to feel for them we share the same tempo and rhythm yes i'm numb to my existence as if like the trees and stars perhaps just out of habit perhaps just out of sorrow i'm unable to show concern for my own manufactured faith okay so this uh, from uh, the poem itself you must have got to know that the writer is frustrated about the life or about the conditions he has been experiencing okay and through that experience he has tried to uh, paint through her uh, words of the poem Besides many, including Su Ting, uh, they were exiled during this period of China and due to, uh, owing to their radical way of thinking that went against communist ideology and it has also strengthened democracy, individualism and freedom. Apart from this, other types of violent happenings, including, uh, in, including executions of intellectuals and rebels by the Red Army and major economic crisis also uh, occurred during this decade. And Su Ting, through this poem, Assembly Line, has critiqued this autocratic rule that focused on collective oneness and propagated the same ideology and subjugation of individual thought. Assembly Line, the poem is re written by one of the greatest modern Chinese poets. I have al already told you, Su Ting, actually one, one of the greatest. Uh, we should not say like this in our answer writing, so please refrain from saying like this. But here in our colloquial language, we can say that. And her original name is, I have already told you, Gong Piu. And Su Ting is her pen name she has used in her literary career. And the poem was first published in 1980 by Sikan Editorial Board. After that, another translation of the poem by Caroline Kaiser, Kaiser was published in, an, in a splintered mirror Chinese poetry from the democracy movement in 1991 by Donald Finkel. Then, uh, uh, more, uh, furthermore, Su Ting was one of the early members of the misty or obscure poets whose writing became very influential during the Cultural Revolution in China, launched by Mao Zedong between 1966 to 1977. Sorry, 1976. So this period was one of social, political, and economic repression, and the misty poets rose in rebe rebellion against the restrictions on artistic and literary freedom that the Cultural Revolution levied. Uh, Moreover, assembly line, uh, the poem, it can also be seen in the same vein as a response to a, to a stifling sociopolitical movement where artists had to practice a rigid method of realistic art whose aim was purely political. And in this poem, Su Ting has compared the state of individual life and being in China during the revolution of the idea of assembly line production in a factory, incapable of having an independent identity under an oppressive sociopolitical climate. Besides assembly line, it... Uh, it can also be seen as a poem of resistance and protest against the increasing curve on artistic freedom that was the reality of writers and the intellectuals in 1970s China. And Su Ting has used the extended metaphor of an assembly line process that most factories use. And in an assembly line, unfinished products, they are moved from one assembler to the next. So from uh, the title, uh, the, mi the meaning of the title, you must have got to know now. And uh, uh, this is related to factory. And in an assembly line, unfinished products are moved from one assemb assembler to the next, where its assembler adds some parts until the product reaches its finished finish state in the end. The assembly line also, uh, it is also a mad metaphor, which delineates a highly mechanical and brainwashed way of living people uh, had under communist rule in the latter half of the 20th century. And there was no possibility of individual growth, change, or ideas. I have already told you, when the uh, Communist Party or the Mao Zedong had already, uh, he had decreed that no one can write against the ideology of, uh, what what do you call it, Maoist, then you, you, you didn't have any kind of liberty. So you are now just like a product of factory, right? And Su, Su Ting has also extended this metaphor to suggest that just like human beings, even natural elements such as stars and trees, they have also become increasingly mechanical and monotonous. And she has seen all these elements as an identic, identical to each other. And the sickly trees also seem to stand in rows and the stars remain unchanged and monochrome and also seem to be lined up in a row one after the other like assemblers in a factory. Then a speaker has... Uh, also stated that one who returns from the factory night shift after the night shift then finds everything around her to be just like the workers mirroring their monotonous dull existence. Then she has also concluded that by evoking sympathy for her own state as well as for her a fellow workers which heightens Peter sweet feelings of numbness and emptiness that engulfs her being. Then the, uh, now let's try to know about the central theme of the poem assembly line and the, uh, the one of the central themes of the poem assembly line is the idea that the human beings have become so indistinguishable from each other that it is impossible to master 
creative in individual thought or identity. So Ting has enhanced this idea throughout the poem to signify the death of creative freedom, which will lead to the eventual death of all imagination. And the picture of a factory that employs an assembly line production is also extended to human beings, and they have become like pro products in an industry. And it also it is also a replica of each other in inanimate without any solar feelings. And this also mirrors the cultural and social life of China in the 1970s when the Communist Party wanted everyone to be indoctrinated into their political ideology, violently repressing any free or creative thought. And the citizens of the country, therefore, were indistinguishable puppets of identical views and beliefs. Even the literature they were pro produced, it also needed to mirror social reality uh, and accept political consciousness. So uh, Su Ting, she was one of many who protested against this debt of creative thought. And in assembly line, Su Ting has talked about all this kind of thing in detail, especially the human condition as numb, empty, and full of uh, inuing. And this is heightened by the comparison of human life represented by factory workers, assemblers to, to products in a factory, as if they are merely engineered and have no free will of their own. And each human being is therefore just like the other, the sameness existing, not just in thought, but also in every human action and appearance. And it has also appeared as if people have become like rows of immobile trees, which look the same and have no separate identity of their own. Thank you so much.